Hi Libra, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we are going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. So whatever comes out, it's going to come out. It could be love, it could be general, work, career, finance. We'll take the energies as they come. As this is a general collective read, it's not a private reading. So whatever it is, it is. So Libra, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. Please keep in mind it may be past, present, or future. May or may not resonate with every single one of you, or maybe only parts will. So please keep that in mind. If it's not resonating for you, don't try to make it fit. It's just probably not your reading this time. Hold out for future readings or check the description box below for your love and general playlist. If you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I do consider them all timeless. So feel free to check that out if you like to. So let's see what's going on with Libra. And also down in the uh, description box in the pin top comment, you'll find there the decks I'm using, links to purchase them if you wish to purchase them for yourself, uh, social media links, you'll find all my social media down there, um, how to reach out for a personal reading if you would like a personal reading, how to tip, donate, or send a gift if you would like to. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal for energy exchanges, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for any G exchanges if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right. So with all that being said, Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we got going on for Libra Spirit, please? What's going on with Libra at this time? This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. And we'll see how that plays into your reading. For Libra, please, what is going on for Libra Spirit? We have one for Libra. Well, we got two there and I just want one for Libra. Right, let's take that one. <clears throat> we have Earth. And when I just saw uh, Virgo, was it Virgo or Capricorn? Taurus or Capricorn? Two Earth signs. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign around you, some way, shape, or form. Friend, family member, co-worker, significant other. Doesn't have to be uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. If not, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. If not, or maybe you have a lot of Earth in your chart, but Earth is a very uh, slow-moving energy. It's smart, practical. It's about growth, expansion, uh, being wise um, kind of energy. And I feel like I'm missing something. <sighs> being grounded, analytical. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Growth and transformation, slow growth. Earth is a very slow moving energy. It does represent the pentacles in the tarot, which is the earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I notice here that earth is 26, which is eight. Eight is about action, travel, communication, movement. You are seven, so we got seven, eight. All right. Slow movement towards something, perhaps. Slow, steady, practical, smart, wise decision-making, growth for the future, moving forward slowly. All right, Libra, what is the opening? Let's get an opening message for you with this deck. Then I'll draw another one for your um, energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at your actual situation, whatever it may be. Advice, possible outcome, go over the bottoms of the decks, and then I'll pull more of the work you like for extra messages at the end. So let's see what we have here. Well, this just came out for Cancer. And I usually don't feel comfortable taking cards that just came out in a previous reading. So Spirit should have, they're telling me to put it in the middle, actually to take the top card. Okay. So we have the Hawk Prince, Spirit Communication, Paying Attention. And this came out in a previous reading too, not the last one. But <clears throat> and we have 11 there, which is being spiritually uh, led, guided, being on the right path. So you could be on the right path here in spirit. And there is the spirit communication right there and paying attention. So I feel like some of you may need to maybe ground yourself in some way, shape, or form. Getting outside, getting in nature, um, grounding yourself, getting your feet in the earth, or something like that. Connecting with nature paying attention to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, listening to the messages you're receiving, and paying attention to signs, symbols, uh, songs, numbers, things around you, things you find often around you, paying attention to that energy for some reason. 
You may see like the same animal, insect, flower, or something like that often, like if you go out walking or something like that. All right, so let's get, maybe you're even seeing hawks, a lot of hawks lately. All right, so it could be, you know, spirit trying to communicate with you in some way, shape, or form about a certain situation that's going on in your life right now. So let's see what's going on for you, Libra. What is your energy? What is the energy right now for Libra? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the energy? There we go. The fire prince. And you have here optimism and aggression. 40, which is four, which is about stability. So I'm getting an energy of having, you know, a very fiery, passionate energy, you know, going forward, a lot of drive, ambition, aggression, but I'm not getting like a bad aggression, like being hopeful and optimistic about something here um, and just pursuing it with a lot of drive and ambition and fiery, passionate energy. Something to do with your stability, your foundation, could be your home life, your career, your finances. But spirit's trying to communicate with you, maybe to slow down, because earth is a very slow energy and fire is a very fast, fiery energy. So we have two opposing energies here. So I think spirit is trying to, like if you keep um, having mishaps in your life or setbacks, it's probably because spirit's doing those things on purpose to tell you to slow down a little bit, to take a more, a more practical, smart, analytical approach and not to uh, rush forward so fiercely as much as you may want to. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. So we have the map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. 24 is six. It's about healing and balance. So being the map, 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 <laughs> map maker of your own destiny here. And we have here authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. So I feel like you know exactly what you want to do, where you want to go, what you need to do, mapping out your destiny, your map of life. Being an inspiration, getting inspiration, having free will to do this. You know you're free to do this, you can do this. But I think maybe you're just rushing ahead a little too fiercely and spirit wants you to slow down and get into a more earthly energy. Libra, that makes sense for you. Again, this may not be for everybody. So let's see, what is all this about? What is Libra trying to rush here? That the universe is trying to tell them to slow down. <laughs> slow down. All right, you may be trying to force your own destiny, and I feel like spirit here, you know, the universe knows your destiny and knows your path and you may be trying to change it all right so what is going on here for libra what is this energy wow okay the knight of spies that's a knight of wands and you see like this kind of pirate which is a kind of deceitful energy so the knight of wands is that fiery it's like this fire prince it's like the same exact thing so that's you know Knight of Spirals. Some consider that a like a, a player energy or somebody that just moves forward, a lot of drive, passion, ambition. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles energy here. It's about holding back, holding on to what you have, holding back a little bit, holding back your energy. So I feel like they want you to hold back your energy a little bit here because that's that Pentacle energy, the Earth energy. They want you to hold back your energy. Seven of Scrolls. And this could be Seven of Swords energy here. So that could be, um, I'm not getting like lies, deceit, or uh, anything like that. But this could be these setbacks, these mishaps that keep happening or setbacks that keep happening in your life that um, may cause you to have to um, take a little pause to deal with something here. You know, it could be anything. Like a little bit of karma kind of like coming at you to say, hey, you know, slow down. As now we have the two of stones, two of pentacle energy again. So that is about finding your balance. 
you need to find your balance here because now we have the queen of spirals again so that's you know king or queen here so again somebody who has a lot of drive ambition that's that fire energy a lot of drive ambition go-getter creative energy um entrepreneurship kind of energy they really go after what they want fiery uh imagination passion i just had my flip yep so what else here the three of spirals the three of ones which is about waiting patiently waiting so yeah i feel like here especially with the four of pentacles and the three of wands three of wands about patiently waiting for your ships to come in your destiny to come in so i feel like you're you know i feel like the universe i feel like this is like the universal spiritual energy whatever you want to call it here knowing what your destiny and fate is you may be trying to change it or rush it and it may not be time for you yet libra and they're really getting you to trying to get you to hold back a little bit wait a little bit longer don't rush so much your ship will come in so don't rush it before it's meant to and this could be i feel like definitely the seven of swords the universe throwing setbacks to you to try to get you to slow down because you're more in that pirate mentality of um got to get ahead got to do this got to do it got to do it got to get ahead it has to be now ten of stones so this is the actual situation so yeah this is growth abundance prosperity for the long-term future being financially set so that's what you want here definitely that's what you're aiming for striving for death so this is about endings transformations um new beginnings so what else here for your actual situation the nine of stones so nine of pentacles energy being very independent single uh taking care of yourself having everything you need and, you know having everything you need and know you're set and able to venture off into new things so you may be you know you might have ended something here but you're still financially set so you're striving out in a new beginning and maybe you're fearful of losing everything so you may be rushing ahead so you don't lose what you have but i think uh it's like you want to keep this ten of pentacle energy so whatever financial stability you have now or stability in some way shape or form i think you may be worried about losing that so you're like okay i gotta do this now it's gotta happen now so i can keep the status i am at but i think spirit wants you to know that you don't have to worry about that and to try to even out your energy so what else do we have here the queen of swords in reverse so the queen of swords in reverse can be a little bit of um it's air energy it's either not seeing the path clearly or not seeing the truth clearly um, not really having clarity sometimes a little bit of a cold energy um having a little bit of a cold demeanor also um kind of energy all right so i mean that's either your energy because well that is your energy queen of scrolls is um queen of swords which is um libra energy that's your energy so you may not be feeling like yourself right now in reverse whatever you're going through here uh, whatever ending happened for you and you're worried you like you got setting off on a new journey right away it's like okay i can't lose the status i'm at uh my stability or whatever so you're rushing into something else but you're not feeling comfortable you're not feeling yourself you're not having clarity that you need um you feel like unclear about things but you're feeling fiery and passionate and wanting to move ahead quickly but i feel like whatever you're doing here is not the right path or not the right direction here or something and i think spirit's trying to get the universe is really trying to get you to uh take a step back yeah because we have the devil energy here which can be fear obsession um kind of energy addictions uh, low self-esteem just a lot of worry negative thinking so i mean that could be all that fear obsession negative thinking um kind of energy low self-esteem or again not feeling like yourself being in reverse with the devil but now we have the king of mirrors which is the king of cups energy 
So that's being in, in a loving, in, in more of a loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy, compassionate energy. So I think you need to shift your energy out of that toxic energy that you're in and shift it more to a more peaceful, harmonious, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate kind of energy, if you can. And slow down. I think you need to slow down. Whatever you're doing here, I want you definitely to slow down. All right. They're really trying to communicate that to you. I feel like your balance will come. You are the justice card. I don't think there's any reason to worry. So let's see what your advice is. So we have the Knight of Wands. No, it's a Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. What else here? The Wheel of Fortune. Energy here. The Page of Scrolls which is the Page of Swords. So we're getting a lot of energy here. And then we have the Two of Cups. So I feel, I feel like here, Spirit wants you to know. I mean, I usually read the Two of Cups as like soulmate union. But um, I mean, if this is about love or something, I do see a soulmate union. Or this is getting what is aligned for you, what is meant for you coming in here that is aligned with your soul, your mission, your purpose. Getting that. And I feel like you're setting out on a journey here, but uh, taking quick action. But I also, Spirit, want you to know that with the wheel here, whatever's divinely guided for you is going to come in here. Uh, it's fate, it's destiny. It may send you on a new journey also. I think if you step back, pause, reflect, and realize all these minor setbacks that you may be having maybe again that message to slow down a little bit take a different approach i feel like the universe may send you in a different direction some way shape or form and you may end up going on a new journey in a new direction that is totally aligned for you but we do have the knight of swords here which usually is about very quick fast-paced action without really thinking which sometimes does not get the results that you want I feel like if you take if you rush into something without thinking clearly first um, I don't think that's going to be the best option because this is the visionary so he's thinking here before he rushes into something and usually in a tarot deck it shows the person just rushing forward so think before you rush into something because I think something divinely guided is going to come in for you that's going to send you in a new journey in a new direction and this direction is going to be more aligned to what you want in life, um, more aligned with you, your soul purpose, your peace, your harmony, your happiness, better suited for you, which will put you more in this king of mirrors energy of peace, happiness, joy, fulfillment, loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. I think whatever you're trying to do now is not the right direction or choice, especially if you don't feel like yourself, you feel out of whack, out of balance, you feel like you're sitting in some sort of toxic negative energy. Um, I don't think that's the right path for you. I think you have a different alignment, a different path coming in, and you may not see it coming. So I think you need to sit and really think here first. But something will come in for you, unexpected, as meant for you with the wheel. All right, Libra, let's get the outcome for you. I mean, this could be anything. It could be work, career, finance, you know, a person, place, or thing. However, this resonates to your story. I'm getting more maybe of like a career path or a job or something like that. All right, so, or it could be, you know, a lover. But I'm going to take this one and these two. All right, so we have here judgment. So this is forgiveness, making a final decision, resurrection of something. Um, final judgment call here. So you will be making a final judgment call, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, maybe keeping to yourself a little bit here. Seven of mirrors kind of energy. So I think this is a different option coming into you because the seven of mirrors is about options, decisions, 
a uh, little confusion maybe, but I feel like a different option may come into you here and you will make a judgment call on this and listening to your gut and your intuition about this. So what else for the possible outcome? That's way too many. What else for the possible nine of mirrors? So there you go. It will be a wish, your dream come true, happiness and joy in every single way, fulfillment. So whatever's coming into you, whatever this different option is that you may not see coming, that you need to make a decision about, listen to your gut, your intuition. If it feels right to you to make this choice, then I would say make it because it will lead to happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment. Wow. And on the bottom of the deck here. So feeling bored, complacent, blah kind of energy right now. So may, needing to make a decision. So maybe, you know, you're waiting not sure what to do so you may jump at the first thing whatever it is for you and making that decision because you're bored and complacent of course we're in quarantine right now but here's a something new divinely guided for you that's stable secure for the long term growth abundance prosperity you could be having monetary lack or worried about monetary lack and that's why you may jump at the first thing here but you do have very stable, grounded energy here, uh, smart, practical, analytical. And there's that earth energy here to take a slower approach, to be in a more uh, king or queen, more positive mindset. And here, mindset, clear thinking, that's your energy again. We're uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, king or queen of scrolls here. So having, you know, clear thinking, positive mind, um, cutting away things no longer serving you, truth and clarity, honest communication here to a spiral so feeling like you're at a crossroads like maybe you don't know what to do in a situation but needing to make a decision for your future so it may be a tower moment or a shock or a surprise that some sort of communication comes into you with the eight of wands energy i thought we had uh but anyway yeah the eight of wands is about travel action communication which we had eight over there with earth but now so some kind of uh, communication is going to come into you. It's going to be like a shock or a surprise here. So you may be hung up on what to do about it here. But, um, and be thinking about it. I don't know what to do. Maybe being a little defensive on guard, like, nah, I don't think that's for me. But then you see the balance of the situation, the peace, the harmony, divinely guided energy for you. And then making that conscious choice and decision knowing, okay, this is more aligned to who I am, what I want, and making that conscious decision here. And then being very stable, grounded, and secure, and abundant for the future. Wow. So, and this is patient, so be patient energy, and then a stable home life, very, very stable, grounded home life. Wow. So I'm going to end it there. So we have the queen of pentacles, which I thought we had the king. So you could be, you know, married to a soulmate or a be with a soulmate kind of energy too and worried about you know if you're both working then all of a sudden one's not worried about you know your home life also but you do have the queen of pentacles here which is capricorn and then we have gemini and then we have sagittarius let's see we have pisces we have aries we have gemini we have here's the king to the queen so you definitely could be married to your soulmate or in a relationship with your soulmate this is Virgo. Uh, let's see here. We have the Knight, the Knight of Wands, which is Leo. We have the Queen of Wands here, which is Aries. Uh, let's see. We have Scorpio. We have Pisces, Capricorn, the Queen. Uh, that was Libra. That was you. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Scorpio again, the Knight of Swords, which is Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. Um, so those are the other signs I see. So I see what's going to happen here is you may be going in one direction, trying to change the course of your destiny because you feel like... Um, you need to just hurry up and go in a certain direction. But I feel like the universe... Is going to send to you once you step back pause reflect here don't make any harsh decisions to first don't decide on the first thing and i think the universe is going to bring you um 
they're like going to change your trajectory and you're going to go on a more a different journey a different uh journey that's more aligned to you which may come out of the blue which will lead to your wish fulfillment so and being more stable and grounded for the future for long term all right so libra Libra, let's get some extra messages here for you, Libra. And I do ask Libra, if you like my style, how I read, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out on any readings. I do about five readings a month per sign. I do a love, a general, um, a singles reading. I do messages from spirit, a bonus reading where we take a look at life, love, advice for you. So if you're interested in that, sub hit the bell if you do thank you and you won't miss out so what else for libra let's see what we have here sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess mystic and teacher so you could be learning something new or you could be teaching something new um but again priestess listening to your gut your intuition seeing the beauty of something and being devoted to something new deep replenishment retreat rest be held and i felt that you need to take a step back here whatever you're trying to re um, rush into or manifest something here i don't think it's for you i think you need to wait for the next thing that the universe sends you so you know take a minute here to pause reflect retreat and just wait be held by the universe just wait for that to come in for you because i feel like it's on its way all right Libra and with this you know and a lot of people at this time I know they're losing their jobs kind of energy also all right so what else for Libra let's get one more Pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so you may come into a position here where uh, you're serving the community um, or something like that uplifting humanity serving the community kind of energy also where it's a more um, it's more beneficial for you it's more uplifting for you and the people around you and those you're serving so maybe some sort of community uh, or social thing here and then we have take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill exactly needing to take a break rest recuperate rejuvenate and wait for the universe to send you this that's divinely guided for you because I think it's coming you just need to wait for it I feel I'm getting maybe um, July to September, like end of July to like the maybe maybe the beginning. So maybe in August that this happens for you, or sometime during that time frame. Okay, Libra. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.